Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Nerd News. I'm your host, and today, I will... U.S. and Germany foiled a Russian plot to assassinate CEO of arms manufacturer sending weapons to Ukraine by Katie Bolillis, Natasha Bertrand, Frederick Petlitzgen, and from CNN.com. U.S. And Intelligence discovered earlier this year that the Russian government planned to assassinate the chief CEO of a powerful German arm manufacturer that's been producing artillery shells and military vehicles for Ukraine, according to five U.S. Western officials familiar with the episode. The plot was one of a series of Russian plans to assassinate defense industry executives across Europe who were subverting the Ukrainian war effort. The sources say the plan is to, ki to kill Armin Papagier, a white-haired Goliath who has led the German manufacturing charge in support of Kiev, was the most mature. When Americans learned of the effort, they informed Germany, whose security service were able to protect Papagier and foil the plot. A high-level German official, official confirmed that Berlin was warned about the plot by the U.S. Russian, of course, denies this. For more than six months, Russia has been carrying out a sabotage campaign across Europe, large by proxy, and has recruited local amateurs from everything from arson attacks on warehouses linked to arms for Ukraine to petty acts of vandalism, all designed to stymie the flow of weapons from the west to Ukraine and blunt public support for Kiev. But intelligence suggesting that Russia was willing to assassinate private citizens underlined what should this was how far Moscow is willing to go in a, in a parallel shadow war it's waging across the West. So let's talk about this, right? So Vladimir Putin has effectively lost. He's a lost the mandate of heaven. No, but effectively, the, the, the Kremlin as a political institution since its inception hundreds and hundreds of years ago was... All, ultimately always a bubble. It was a political bubble that hid the rulers of the uh, Russian, of, of Russia, which whatever form that might take, whether it was an, as an empire, whether it was as a federation, or whether it was the USSR, and they would, it would functionally function as a filter and a, 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 a propaganda machine in, in turn to do two things one to full, to make it so the population viewed the the people the person at the helm as infallible and godlike and ultimately to keep the kind the 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 protect the feelings of the ruler of the of the Kremlin. in this case it's putin putin didn't invade ukraine because he you know wanted more warm water ports, he wanted, you know, more land, like, he, he did it because he had been getting reports for years that had, that had been given to him by political veterans of the Kremlin who have survived purges that deliberately, you know, lie and, and misrepresent, uh, you know, reports and facts to, to him, and, and, and ultimately, he should know this, and I think in the deep down he does. Vladimir Putin had never spoken publicly up until his interview with Tucker Carlson last year. And, you know, he goes on and on about how, just to quote Laser Pig real quick, how Stalin and Peter the Great teamed together to fight the Megazord hidden on um, uh, on a Earth's secret second in invisible moon, and that's why Ukraine never existed. So... Ultimately, at the end of the day, um, the perpetual uh, 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 you know, fascistic intents that's come out of Russia are the result of basically Vladimir Putin being a being like a barrel fucking animal, and you know believing the conspiracy theories that the West is out to get him, similar to how Donald Trump believes his own hype. Putin is doing the same, and, you know, while, you know, the, in, 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 in implementing a cover, color revolution in the West is something that will never happen because color revolution isn't real, um, ultimately, I think Vladimir Putin, the one thing that in, in, the, in, the, in the Russian state has done this very well is kind of uh, information wars, and I'm very much not surprised that they would also try to assassinate you know people that are supporting ukraine because ultimately putin is holding out that trump wins the presidential election and he's holding in he knows because trump has said so that he will let putin do whatever the fuck he wants to do to and in ukraine and which is why 
you know, Biden, as a precautionary measure, is trying to trump proof the NATO alliance and make it so this is also all the so much of the decision making power is taken away from the United States, which ultimately hurts our position as a superpower and, you know, our ability to sway people and in, in things on the national stage. But, you know, we are looking down the barrel of, of authoritarian fascism. So you, know, you got you got to make concessions in certain in some places to, you know, keep shit safe and others. So anywho, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. That's uh that's I think basically it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.